ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. I have some breaking news, entertainment news that went down. Now, um, you know, Quavo from the Migos. You heard about Quavo and um, Sawidi. You know, they broken up. Well, TMZ just released a video of the um, the video of the fight. Now, a lot of people, and I know a lot of women especially, are, go are going to use a cancel culture on Quavo because Quavo, th this is what they said, it, th that Quavo is doing a Ray Rice situation. Now, this has been, now I'm going to read this article. And, and again, I'm not defending Quavo by no means. I don't condone domestic violence. I don't commit, condone no abuse from anyone, right? Because personally, I've been I've been in an abusive relationship before, and I, I was de abused. But however, you know, team. I mean, of, of the video, they, some people have put parts of the video on social media, not the entire video. So this article comes from TMZ. It says Quavo and Sawidi elevator altercation caught on video. Now. This is what really happened. This is facts, y'all. I'm not going to bring no, oh, Lions Den, why you can, why you can, why you support uh, Quavo? This is not a support of Quavo at all. I think neither one of them shouldn't put their hands on each other. That's how I feel about this situation. But I want to tell you, this is, this, this is what TMZ has said. And before all y'all want to jump on, on me about all of this, I want y'all to hear what this says. It says, Quavo and Sawidi's issues appear to run much deeper than alleged infidelity because they had a fight in an elevator before they split. And, and the altercation was all captioned on video. TMZ obtained surveillance footage of the struggle which went down at an apartment complex in North Hollywood. It shows both of them standing outside an open elevator now, this is facts. What I'm about to read to you right here. So don't jump on me. Oh, you are you defending Quavo? Quavo assaulted Saweetie in the elevator like they did, like Ray Rice did it. I don't want to hear that. This is what TMZ just said. It says it shows both of them stand outside in an open elevator, and when the video starts, Saweetie is swinging on Quavo. Let me repeat that again. So all y'all going to say, oh, Quavo, he, uh, I don't want to hear no cancel culture. On, I mean, like I, said, like I said before, before I continue reading this, you know, again, I don't condone no, no violence against each other. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't condone domestic violence on nobody. I don't want to see no hands on anybody. But when you have a video... Thinking that Quavo or attacking Sawidi and they and the facts did not even come out yet. The video they didn't show the entire video. I have an issue with that. So let me repeat what this says again. This is from TMZ. It says it shows both of them standing outside an open elevator, and when the video starts, Sawidi is swinging on Quavo. She's swinging at him first. Then Quavo dodges the hit. Dropping orange, call dropping an orange Call of Duty case in the process, with Sawidi trying to pick up. Quavo grabs it, and as they struggle for the case, he grabs her arm and swings her to the back elevator wall. Then they both go down. So y'all, you know, this is why. I mean, there are a lot of people gonna say, "Well, this is another Ray Rice situation." Yo, Quavo all over again. Quavo attacking Saweetie. They didn't even show the entire video at all. They showed parts of the video when Quavo drags Saweetie in the elevator. They didn't show what happened before then. This is this is this is what I'm saying. People need to be. People just need to uh, do research on this before they do. Because we all get in our emotions. Think about the Ray Rice incident, and 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 then because all of the, and again like. This is why I said that, you know, and just like the, you know, the, the Chris Brown, Rihanna situation when Rihanna swing at Chris first and Chris respond. Now, I, again, I don't condone nobody to hit anybody. But when you put, you making Quavo the bad guy of all of this, without doing any research, 
That is an issue. And they continue to say that as Sawi lay on the ground, possibly injured, Quavo stands there without helping her up. I mean, without helping her up. Eventually, the elevator opens with a guy standing outside, but he doesn't get on, and the door shuts again. Finally, the door sh the finally the door opens on another floor, and Quavo starts to get off with the case, using it to keep the door open. And Sawi picks herself up and limps off. We we spoke with sources on both sides, and they both say this incident went down in 2020. By the way, this is before they break it. They were they were breaking up way before then, at an apartment building where Sawiti was renting. Okay, remember Sawiti pu publicly broke it off with him, uh, alluding to him cheating, which he denied. There were there were also rumors he repo a car he gifted her. But he claimed that wasn't the case. As for the ugly moment, it doesn't appear the police were called. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the TMZ article. See, there's been rumors too that Saweetie uses Quavo. Using her to get her a ride. Using her to get anything he that she wants. And, you know, Quavo has been used. And matter of fact, Saweetie did not want Quavo anyway. But... To sit here and say this is another Ray Rice issue, this is this is this this is this is ridiculous, y'all. And this is why I said that before y'all jump the gun, before y'all get into y'all emotions, because that's what y'all do. Read the fine print. Read the article of TMZ, because this is before. I mean, what I heard is that Sawidi swing at him first. That's right before the elevator even opened up. So to sit here and say, oh, it, it, oh, Quavo, you dogging a woman, you try to do cancer culture on him. Read the fine print first. Read the facts first. Y'all talking about facts. Y'all doing to do facts. This is facts. She swings at him, and you know what happened next. She, he, 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 I mean, again, like I said, I don't condone domestic violence on both sides. Right, I don't condone it at all, but to sit here and you want to jump on Quavo for doing this to Sawidi, and Sawidi was the one swinging at swinging at him first. That's wrong. Both of them need to be held accountable. For what happened today? Not just Quavo alone, because again, I'm gonna read this one more time so that y'all thinking, oh, Lions Day, you 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 supporting Quavo? No, I don't support nobody in this. I don't. Not at all. I don't support Quavo or Saweetie in this matter. Because both were in the wrong. Saweetie swing at him first. He dodged I mean, He dodged her. He dodged that hit from her. And and see, the thing is that they don't think that women don't hit men or abuse men, right? They don't think so. Not in the media. You see, the Salage did with Jay-Z. Assaulted Jay Z. You see incidents like Bri Bri Brianna trying to swing at Chris Brown. And Chris Brown just, I mean, Chris Brown was in the wrong by beating her like that. But at the same time, Rihanna swinging him first. Listen, neither one of them need to put their hands on each other. Period. Because one of them might end up getting hurt seriously. And and again, this is this is y'all. This is like I said before. It shows you, they, they claim this is like the Ray Rice situation all over again. And it's not. This is a totally different situation, totally different relationship. So, that's all I have to say about the situation. But, just to let you know that Quavo really didn't punch, hit, or anything like that. And before the incident happened, it was Sawidi put swing at him first. And he just missed, missed the swing from her. So y'all let me know what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.